Chapter 8, Transformers. In 1993, Alex Alban was a lawyer working at Starwave Inc. Starwave was an innovative company founded by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen to develop digital entertainment. Long before the internet became popular, Starwave began investing in new technology for delivering entertainment in anticipation of the power of networks. Alban had a special interest in new technology. He was intrigued by the emerging market for CD-ROM technology, not to distribute film, but to do things with film that otherwise would be very difficult. In 1993, he launched an initiative to develop a product to build retrospectives on the work of particular actors. The first actor chosen was Clint Eastwood. The idea was to showcase all of the work of Eastwood with clips from his films and interviews with figures important to his career. At that time, Eastwood had made more than 50 films as an actor and as a director. Alban began with a series of interviews with Eastwood, asking him about his career. Because Starwave produced those interviews, it was free to include them on the CD. That alone would not have made a very interesting product, so Starwave wanted to add content from the movies in Eastwood's career, posters, scripts and other material relating to the films Eastwood made. Most of his career was spent at Warner Brothers, and so it was relatively easy to get permission for that content. Then Alban and his team decided to include actual film clips. Our goal was that we were going to have a clip from every one of Eastwood's films, Alban told me. It was here that the problem arose. No one had ever really done this before, Alban explained. No one had ever tried to do this in the context of an artistic look at an actor's career. Alban brought the idea to Michael Slade, the CEO of Starwave. Slade asked, 